Dear brothers and sisters in Christ of the UESI Missouri Ministry, greetings to you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. By the grace of God, here we are today, standing on the threshold of the last day of the year 2021. Isn't it amazing how time flies? Today, I can't help but reflect on the months that went by. It's the second year that the COVID-19 has been heavily affecting almost every aspect of our lives across the globe. Every family, every individual has been affected. For the state of Missouri, things have not really cleared up and we're living under this dark cloud of the pandemic for the entire year. Under this oppressive regime, climate of this virus outbreak, Many families and individuals have fallen victims to its curse. Many of our loved ones died. We suffered a ruined family economy, halted or compromised education and career prospects. And so we had to negotiate life through the new normal that even demanded that our sanctuaries of worship be locked up for most of the time. There was a galore of troublesome news at the state, national and international level, which even affected our usual living conditions. We certainly have been living in an unprecedented era. While these grim realities were playing out on the one hand, however, there's a silver lining on the other hand, more optimistic sight. You see, God has been faithful to us since January the 1st of this year. We as UESI Mizoram family have been able to accomplish many ministry projects and undertakings. One notable blessing we receive is in the area of studying scripture. A look at the sheer amount of time we were finally able to devout for online Bible study sessions. It's huge. The weeks we are booked up with Bible study schedules, English and Mizo, most of the time in the year, while the level of knowledge of the Bible and inductive Bible study technique displayed by several EU students lifted our hearts in praise to God. The work from home culture created by the pandemic has generated for us work from home culture. Remember, UESI is Bible believing. To become saturated, Bible saturated men and women of God through Bible study this way will go a long way in arming us to be better soldiers as we try to expand His kingdom. I am elated to look back on what the Lord has enabled us, how He's enabled us to pull off this year. We were able to conduct smoothly our annual general conference online, attended by many representatives of several EU and EGF units. We were able to organize camps, online camps such as evangelistic camps, discipleship training camps, and state leadership training camp where EU, several EU students received godly instruction and training. In many cases, it's business as usual for us. So it is encouraging to note that through the generous monthly contribution of several faithful EU and EGF units, we're able to operate our UESI Missouri ministry. And not only that, we're able, in fact, to increase our national UESI national contribution compared to last financial year. Surely, the pandemic did not weigh us down when it comes to giving. Praise God, who enables us to do all these and much more. I'm thrilled from what's happening recently, recently in Champai District 2, as graduates are mobilized into an EGF unit I know this district has a huge potential to be a role model for other districts. Presently, out of 11 districts of Mizoram, we have presence or started initiatives in Aizol, Lunglei, Longklai, Siaha, Natiel, Serti, Kozol, and now Champai. A long way to go, but so far, so good. We need a concerted effort to claim the whole of the state for God. May we never be found letting go of the reins. I want to salute our dear brothers and sisters who are living in remote areas with few or no other EU product to fellowship with, but faithful in their commitment to UESI, trying hard to mobilize and form EU and EGF unit. Let me remind you that while working to increase our numbers, 
we put a whole lot of emphasis on quality. That's what we do in UESI. So don't be disheartened. The Lord is at hand. In all our activities and undertakings, I want to thank my dear brothers and sisters for your effort and dedication. I can't name you all at this time, but God knows you and records all your services. It's because of you that this ministry is moving forward. We are truly indebted to our staff family, Brother Philip and Sister Shalomi, for their untiring service all throughout the year, being available 24-7, going full throttle. Our former coordinators, Sister Rebecca and Brother Isaac, for the huge sacrifice and hard work, and our newly recruited coordinator, Brother Jonathan, who's not even resting during this holiday season. You all have rendered your service even beyond the call of duty. Your efforts will not go in vain. I thank all the members of the State Executive Committee and subcommittees and departments for their contribution and patience during our several, uh, several committee deliberations. Finally, let me thank uh, profusely the EU unit leaders. It's because of these obedient EU leaders of various colleges and institutions in the state and faithful EU members that this ministry is able to run this year. UESI is a ministry that exists for students, for the salvation of post-matric students. Let us continue working together hand in hand in the year to come. During this year, if there are instances where we may wrong you or hurt you, I would like to apologize for that and I would ask you, request you to kindly forgive us. To the hurting and grieving, the struggling dear brothers and sisters of our family, please remember that we are praying for you. May the comforting hand of God be upon you in a special way. Well, by the look of it, the future isn't really rosy. And we don't know when this mutating virus will eventually go away and leave us alone. But one thing's for sure, as Hebrews 13.8 says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. He never left us. He was there from eternity past to now to eternity future. Even in our darkest days, He's always present. He's the maker of the universe, the master of our destiny. Let us take comfort in His presence. Nothing happens without His knowledge. If we have a God who is mighty and able, what else do we need? Come what may, no weapon formed against us shall prosper, because we are the servants of God. Let us ring in this new year with hope, because we have a God who is sovereign over everything. Let me close by signing a prayer a portion of an anonymous Puritan many years ago, whose lines read, Thy goodness has been with me during another year, leading me through a twisting wilderness, in retreat, helping me to advance, when beaten back, making sure headway. Thy goodness will be with me in the year ahead. God bless you.